Monique Lamoureux has grown up in a house of hockey. She and her twin sister both won silver medals at the 2010 Winter Olympics. Monique is here to speak with us about the lifestyle, the motivation and the experience that comes along with the glory of an Olympic medal. Thanks for coming on the show today. Oh, thanks for having me. Yeah, and first of all, congratulations. Thank what, you very What a much. great accomplishment. And we said you grew up in a house of hockey. Yep. And uh, it's true, you have brothers, parents, sister, all helping you train your whole life. This didn't happen overnight. But no. how did you get to this point in your career? Uh, well, we grew up playing hockey. We, well, we played a bunch of dis different sports growing up, but I mean, well, that was the one thing we just gravitated towards. And I'm sure everybody knows about the pond we had across the street. And just we, we looked up to our brothers and we wanted to tag along with them. So we learned at a very young age to be competitive and to have that drive to always want to be better. And I mean, this summer was kind of the first chance we got to really train with our brothers and skate with them on a daily basis. So, I mean, this summer was great for us training wise. We went into camp, um, I think, in the best shape that my sister and I have ever been in. So, I mean, I don't think I'd be where we, or I don't think we would be where we are without the help of and support of our family. Sure. And uh, now you're a silver Olympic medalist. Yeah. And did you ever imagine that you and your sister, Jocelyn, would be playing on the same Olympic team? Well, that's been our dream. I mean, a lot of people ask that, and we've kind of pictured this since we were little. We've always wanted to be on that team in the gold medal game, and it didn't quite end up the way we wanted it to, so we're looking forward to 2014 in Russia, and that's kind of, we got three years in North Dakota, but I mean, we want to win a gold medal in Russia now. So, <laughs> so you've got your sights set already, right? Yeah. Well, when did you realize that you were going to be playing for the U.S.? Uh, well, we had tryouts in August and they cut it down to 23, so we moved to Blaine and we trained as a team all year and then in December they had to make two more cuts, so we officially knew we'd be in the Olympics in mid-December, so we knew one of us would be on the team for sure because they were cutting one forward and one defenseman, so once it was officially announced and I think my parents would kind of take a sigh of relief and my sister and I also. <laughs> well yeah you and your and sister both, as well. We're both going. <laughs> when you put on that jersey for the first time what was that like? Uh, I think everybody remembers the first time they put on a U.S. jersey or whenever you get to play for your country. Uh, the first time we put our we got to put it on was we were juniors in high school and playing at the Four Nations tournament but it's a little bit different when it's at the Olympics there's a, there's a little bit more you're getting a lot more attention there's more buzz around it so I mean, the first time we did against China, I mean, obviously it wasn't really uh, a very competitive game, but I mean, stepping on the ice for the first time, like something I'll never forget and just seeing the crowd and it's, it's unbelievable. It's something to work for. Yeah. And that's a lot of pressure. I mean, even up to this point, pressure with, with tryouts and mm -hmm. making the team and then the Olympics, mm -hmm. the games. I mean, did you ever have any doubts? Uh, not really. Uh, this summer, uh, Greg Lotus, a very good family friend of ours, um, he always told you, he goes, you want to be betting on yourselves and the odds, you want them to be great. So, I mean, for us, we put in the time and effort and we, we, worked, our, we worked our butts off and we put ourselves in a position to be on that team and I don't think we really ever doubted that we wouldn't be on the team. So. Okay. Well, now that you have the silver medal, um, what are the benefits? I mean, you got this <laughs> great looking necklace, right? So uh, what have you found that's, that's unique about being a silver medalist? Uh, I think it's a great opportunity for us to kind of grow and help women's hockey in the area. I know it's not, I mean, when you look at Minnesota, they have great numbers for women's hockey and girls hockey. And that's, we have the opportunity to put a program on the map. And with that comes responsibility of being a role model and making sure you put yourself in the best light possible. So I know for like last night I was at a U12 girls hockey party and they're just, they're having a great time and it's that's something I like to do uh, you they look up to you and I was one of those girls at one point so that's something that I look forward to doing and helping promoting women's hockey in Grand Forks and North Dakota. Well one point uh, of, of the Olympics that I remember is mm -hmm. after the game was finished the gold medal game yeah uh, for you the silver medal game yeah. right uh, and the US uh, team was getting their medals mm -hmm. you didn't look all that happy at no, first and then <laughs> the rink started chanting USA Tell us about that. Uh, yeah, I think a lot of people noticed that our team wasn't too happy, and I, I know we got a little bit of flack for that, but I mean, when you work so hard for six months and to come up a little bit short, in the moment it's very disappointing, but once you get your medal and you, I mean, it's a silver medal at the Olympics, you can't, there's a lot worse things that could be going on in your life, so sure. 
I mean, but when we got our medals and they started chanting USA, when it's obviously a very pro-Canadian crowd, it's it was very emotional. And I know some of the girls started crying, and it's, it's I, I held back my tears, but it's, I mean, for them to do that, it's awesome. It was awesome, and it's that's actually one of the one of the moments I'll remember from from that experience. Sure. Well, now what? What can we expect from your future? You're going to be playing for University of North Dakota. Yep. And you already said you won a gold medal, so is that the next thing then? Uh, well, we have three years with North Dakota. I, my sister and I didn't transfer to not make an impact on the team, so we want to we wanna come in next year and we want to make them a great program. We have three years left of college hockey, and we want to win a national championship. I know a lot of people don't think we'll be able to pull it off, but we... Joss and I, we want to win and we hate to lose, so that's that's going to be our goal. And before the next Olympics, we have other goals we want to accomplish All before right. that. Well, thanks so much for coming on the show, and again, congratulations. Thanks for having me. You're watching Studio One from the University of North Dakota. We'll be back right after this.